plastic mulching is one of the best way for any farmer, whether small or big, uh, so that you conserve the water because as you can see the, with climate change and everything what is happening, water use is be becoming a challenge. And uh, for any farmer who need to conserve water, we need to have uh, mulching paper so that the first thing you conserve water and the second thing because of the white paper in the in the mulch you increase the growth of the of the plants itself so and the other thing so the because there's no weed interference with the crop the crops grows very fast because from the moment you plant your seedlings or the seed all, all the way, you don't have any interference with the weeds. So with that, that's why you can see the crops, they are growing very fast, they are growing very well. So there is a, also there's use, uh, minimum usage of fertilizers and chemicals. Because in fertilizers, uh, you put basically in where the plant itself is. You go per plant, per hole, that's why you use. Like, not like the other method where you you use a lot of fertilizers. So you, you see you save water, you save fertilizer in terms of labor. Labor is an issue now for any farmer who is want, want to, to plant. He will get maybe he, he has he need to, he has the need to, to plant. But when it comes to labor, the people to plow, all these things, you don't get those, those labor. So you, that's the savings you, 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 you're doing. So in a small area like this, a match, uh, matching like this, which is a farm, uh, maybe you can see a kitchen garden. It will only cost less than maybe 5,000 shillings. And you can see it is the savings that you make. Um, the savings, you, you are not going to incur any other cost. It is, those, these are the expenses you have been run, you have been used to. When you, you use much, those, all those expenses goes. So you, we are reducing the, on the side of expenses of the farmer. So you reduce the expenses and you increase the production. Basically, almost all crops, apart from maybe what we call the roots, like uh, the potatoes. The potatoes is the one which you are not using because you need to plow for, for the roots. But all the other crops, you can see here we have, we have uh, beans, we have uh, courgette, we have uh, tomatoes, all these other crops you, you have, you have in, in, even maize. You use the DNA, you use the plastic matching. First, we said he's saving on water. Where you are, we are doing an irrigation maybe for three times a week, with the plastic matching, we just do it once. So there are no challenges what one face. The only challenge one can say is maybe, he can say maybe the initial cost maybe is high, but it's not high. Like, but like now we are selling this plastic matching per meter only 17 shillings. So we are, the cost is almost uh, 17 shillings per meter, is, per meter square is very cheap. No, they cannot be affected because it is uh, UV treated. All the rays, the UV rays are reflected. So there's no it is uh, it, it affects the plants because it is UV treated. It is not a normal, a normal paper that uh, you buy in any shop. It is specifically done for for, for, for for the crop. No, this is the best. This is the best because f f first, um, they we said um, so many farmers they are not able to do farming because of labor. Labor is a challenge. Going to anybody and you, you tell him to come and cultivate your farm, it's a big challenge getting those people. But you do, there's no weed. From the day you start, once you put the mulch, you, there's no weeding. So, and there are some weeds which are uh, they, a challenge. You, you, you remove them today, tomorrow they are, they are back. You see, those are their challenges. They have, uh, they have been a, a big headache to, to farmers. When you put plastic matching, you reduce everything. And, and you see again, when you put fertilizers, uh, your manure and everything, it is there. And there's no elation, uh, soil erosion. There's no soil erosion because of the, of, the paper, of the mulch we have put on the side. When you do plastic matching in outdoors, for instance, and it rains, maybe, so you don't do, you don't do irrigation when it rains, because the, all the water is, is conserved. But when you are doing uh, irrigation, in a normal place where you, you have drips and you don't have mulch, uh, 
maybe one does where the soil is that they do three times a week with the mulch you do once a week you reduce the irrigation to once a week so that that is the difference so you can see you are saving on water a lot of it yes